Okay, in this video, we're talking about the area of a triangle. So we talked previously when thinking about rectangles and squares, we know that area equals length times width. But if we did that here, if we said this was two centimeters and this was two centimeters, then we'd say, okay, two centimeters times two centimeters equals four centimeters squared. But then that is going to give us the area all here of a square. And we don't want that. But something you might realize if you've ever done some, uh, you know, origami is that a square is actually two triangles together. So what if we took this measurement we came up with and just split it in half? Then we would get the area of just this one half of the square. So if we set up here that the area of a triangle equals length times width, divided by, remember that line can sometimes mean that, it looks like a fraction, but that's kind of what we're saying. Uh, if you think of like one half, we're splitting one into two pieces. So if we divide it by two, so then we would be saying the area of this triangle is the length two centimeters times the width two centimeters divided by two. So that would be four centimeters squared divided by two. So our area of the triangle would be four divided by two is obviously two centimeters squared. So I hope you see that that makes sense that this side would be two centimeters squared and this side would be two centimeters squared. But if we only wanna see the area of the triangle, we can find the area of the imaginary square and split it in half. So now that we know our formula, area of a triangle equals length times width divided by two, this question isn't very hard. I think the hardest part for some of you guys will be the multiplication. By all means, if uh, you want to use a calculator while you're doing this, I don't mind because what I want you to be working on is the skill of solving area of a triangle, not actually the multiplication right now. However, it's good for you to see it and practice, so I'm going to solve this one uh, by doing it on the page here. So my length, so area equals, I'm not going to write of a triangle every time, but that's what I'm getting at, is length times width divided by two. So my length is, I'm going to say 23 meters times 16 meters divided by two. Now I think I'm just going to move that to the side there so I can do my multiplication over here. 23 times 16. Six times three is 18, eight down, one up. Two times six is 12, plus one is 13, zero down. I'm going to erase this little one on top so it doesn't confuse me. Next time, one times three is three, one times two is two, plus it together. Eight plus zero is eight, three plus three is six, one plus two is three. So I've just moved that math off to the side, but now we have a little more information here. So we said our 23 meters times 16 meters would be 368 meters squared. Now we have to do the divided by two step. Again, just showing you my division here because it's good practice. How many twos can I take out of three? I can take one. One times two is two, minus is one. Bring down the six. How many twos can I take out of 16? Eight. Eight times two is 16, minus is zero. Bring down the eight. How many twos can I take out of eight? Four. Four times two is eight, minus is zero. So I've moved that work back up to the top, but I've now done this division here, 368 meters squared divided by two. Did that up here, so my answer, area of the triangle equals 184 meters squared. Again, this question would have been much faster if I didn't have to do the work or if I used a calculator, which I don't mind if you do, but I want you to just see the basic process here. Length times width, we took from our lengths, our sides, put it in, divided by two, and our answer. 
Okay, this is obviously the same concept. We're still using our handy formula up here, but the only thing that's gonna make this harder is that it's decimal numbers. Again, if you're using a calculator, which I don't mind, it will be pretty straightforward, but I'm just gonna review some of the multiplication with you. So my first step, area of the triangle equals the length times the width divided by two. So I'm gonna say 7.2 centimeters times 8.4 centimeters divided by two. So I need to do that multiplication. So a bit of a review of multiplication with decimals here. My first step, four times two is eight, four times seven is 28, zero down, eight times two is 16, six down, one up, eight times seven, 56, plus the 157. Now, hopefully you remember when we're doing a multiplication with decimals, there's a couple where you can, you can, oh, I haven't added them yet. Eight plus zero is eight. 8 plus 6 is 14, 4 down, 1 up, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10, 0 down, 1 up, 1 plus 5 is 6. So when we're deciding where to put the decimal, I always want you to think about, well, this is really about 8 times about 7, so it's going to be about 56. So 60 point something would make the most sense. The other way is there's one digit behind the decimal there, a second digit behind the decimal there, so we move in 1, 2. So our answer is going to be 60.48. So continuing with our question, uh, we've done the multiplication over here. So our area of the triangle equals 7.2 centimeters times 8.4 centimeters, which we did here was 60.48 centimeters squared. Remember centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters squared. But now we still have to do that division part divided by two. So here we go with our division. We're doing, as we saw here, 60.48 centimeters squared divided by two. So our first step, uh, how many two is gonna take out of six? Three, three times two is six, minus a zero, bring down the zero. How many two is gonna take out of zero? None, zero times two is zero, minus equals zero. Bring down the four. Ah, notice we have that decimal. I'm gonna go ahead and write it right there before I forget. Bring down the four. How many two is gonna take out of four? Two, two times two is four, minus is zero. Bring down the eight. How many twos can I take out of eight? Four. Two times four is eight, minus is zero. Okay, so now we can continue. We've done this part. 60.48 centimeters squared divided by two equals 30.24 centimeters squared. That's our answer. Okay, although this uh, example looks a little bit different, it's still the same concept. It's still a triangle, so we can still find the area by multiplying the length and the width and dividing by two. It looks different because rather than sort of like a square, this would be a rectangle, but it's the same idea that if you envision this as a triangle, you can kind of get the idea that, here, I'm just gonna color in, that this is half of that part there, sort of equivalent. And then this side is kind of equivalent to the other part of the half here. So the formula still makes sense. So let's go ahead and fill in the numbers. Area of a triangle equals our length, 18 centimeters or kilometers times our width. Remember, it doesn't really matter which one you put first, divided by two. Gonna do multiplication over here. 18 times 23, three times eight, 24, four down, two up, one times three is three, plus the two is five, zero down. Two times eight is 16, six down, one up, one times two is two, plus the one is three, plus it together. Four, 11, and four. So we can write that in. Our area equals 414 kilometers divided by two. So 414 divided by two. Two goes into four, or I can take how many twos out of four? Two, two times two is four, minus is zero, bring down the one. How many twos can I take out of one? None, zero times two is zero, minus equals one. Bring down the four. How many twos can I take out of 14? Seven, two times seven is 14, minus equals zero. So to finish off the question, we see that the area of our triangle equals 207 
kilometers squared. Okay, for this last example, we're kind of using the same formula, but flipping it around a little bit because we're trying to find the missing length. So the area of our triangle equals length times width divided by two. So we already know the area of the triangle is 85 centimeters squared. So 85 centimeters squared equals, let's say the length is 10 centimeters times, for our width, we just have this Z there, Z divided by two. So make sure my Z doesn't look like a two. So if you can just think about it, 10 times what? Because, okay, so the 85 has been divided by two. So what's two times 85? Uh, 170 is gonna be 10 times Z. So I know that 10 times 17 equals 170. So I can already tell you by working through it in my head that it's gonna be 17. It is important, however, that I show you how to solve it using the steps uh, algebraically. So we're trying to solve for that Z. Let's get rid of this two first. Remembering we're doing the opposite um, or the opposite operation rather. So opposite to divided by two is times two. So times two that side, times two to that side. Those cancel out. Two times 85, I said was 170, 80 plus, yeah, centimeters squared now equals 10 centimeters times Z or Z. I'm gonna flip those around just so we have a nice easy times and divide thing going here. Doesn't make any difference. 70 centimeters squared. So now I wanna get rid of that 10, bring it over to this side. So it's right now it's times 10, so I'm gonna divide by 10. Divide by 10 centimeters, divide by 10 centimeters. What's interesting here is obviously 170 divided by 10 is 17. Sort of the opposite to going centimeters times centimeters equals centimeters squared. If we're going centimeters squared divided by centimeters, we're taking away one from this little number here rather than adding it. So this is just gonna be 17 centimeters equals Z. That was a bit of a long video. I hope you made it through to the end and please don't hesitate to ask for more um, help if you need it. Thank you.